Hi, my love. It's your Ray, my lady girl from Runaway, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And I am here with a come up LA. And this is episode two. The name of this episode is called Let the Games Begin. Now, we are right back into the fight with Ashlyn and Lucky. And again, Lucky be dead. Okay? So, Ashlyn is like, I'm going to kill this. I'm going to kill this hoe. I'm going to kill this hoe. Because everybody all mad because she got, they got beat up. Now, everybody want to kill her. And while Ashlyn is going all, she's like, I look better than you. I'm on four magazine covers and da 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 Like, I already knew it was going to be some hate and shit because, like, you were supposed to be my girl. You in there with these girls that you know I don't like. Now y'all friends and now you fight me the same day. Like, 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 like you said, y'all want to hop on the, on the hate train. And that's corny because, Ashlyn, you were supposed to be my girl. And that's what it boiled down to. Ashlyn probably felt like, I look better than this girl. Why does she have so much clout? And I don't. Y'all, ladies, you got to be mindful of that. People will be your friend just to get close to you, just to see what you do, how you move, how you handle certain situations, how you do your makeup, what you wear, what your relationship was like, what your nigga. Like, people are like that, especially chicks. Like, ugh, ugly. So, um, Big Lex is holding um Lucky's hand. She just walking upstairs, walking upstairs, girl. And then this upstairs is supposed to be reserved for Big Lex and um Lucky, but she, you know, Lucky's upstairs talking to her. And she's like, what's the problem? Because I thought you and her was cool. And then Ashlyn gets in, I mean, you know, Ashlyn and Lucky was cool. She was like, yeah, this girl trying to play me talking about I got a comment. I, I had a client when I got here. I'm going viral on Pornhub. I like to screw on camera. It is what it is. It ain't no secret, but I ain't no hoe. And da 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 going on, on, on. And Lucky is like, okay. Like, you know, just listening to it. And she like, you know, they keep trying me. They keep trying me now that everybody going to think twice before they try me. So the guys and the girls are on the van smoking on a carrier van. And Queen D is still being delusional. Queen delusional, okay? She like, yeah, I don't know what happened. She hit her head. She, I, I think she hit her head. She ain't hit mine, girl. They hit the flashback of Queen D's head getting, getting smashed. And they're like, yeah. She like, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. If you got to say I'm not mistaken, then you know some, you know you lying. That shit is hilarious to me. Because Queen, you really trying to keep that hope alive. Then we have the next day. We have our first little house meeting. Lucky looks so cute. I like Lucky. She 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 put she does it for me because she's putting on for the natural girls. You know the natural small petite girls. You know what I'm saying? Little booties matter. Little titties matter. All of the things. So she's like, you know, make sure we grab a whole bunch of content for today because that's what we're here to do. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to see. Like, is it really going to be giving content house, girl? Because uh, this is the real content house over here, bitch. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm at home at the content house, period. Queen D and Lucky do a little truce, you know, like it was some internet stuff and you know, they dap it up. They was trying to get off on the right foot. Queen was trying to over talk it. The other boy was kind of like, you know, like, no, 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 we're going to keep it kosher. We're going to keep it good. And it ended up being, you know, let's just put it behind us. That was yesterday. Today, we are on a different wave. Now, then the next scene, girl, they outside somewhere looking like they about to be at the Slauson meat swap meet or something like that. They really outside. They really in L.A. like <laughs> to live and die in L.A. So they go to a tattoo parlor. Lucky comes down and she lets it be known like this is what we're here to do. If y'all really Clover gang, 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 y'all about to get my shit tatted or whatever the case. And you know, I didn't understand why they had to have the LA in the center of the tattoo. But um, the one African girl, I think her name is Malay, I believe, okay? And she's like, I'm not going to get a tattoo because I'm African and I don't believe in getting tattoos for no reason. Everybody else is with it. Some people are like, yeah, it's a free tattoo for me. Cool. And Lucky's just like, I'm going to get it as well because, you know, I'm I'm forever a part of y'all now. I thought that was a cute gesture. And not for nothing, some people were saying this weird as cult. Like, it's not. I mean, think about Bad Girls Club. How many, how many girls got tattoo of the bad girl symbol on their body? Some girls who've never even been in bad girl, but they still have that symbol on their body. You get what I'm saying? So like, think about it like that. I am really big. I have three tattoos and girl, they painful as well. I don't, I need to get a tattoo updated. I have an ankh on the back of my neck, but <clears throat> girl, tattoos. Anyway, so they're getting it, they're getting it, you know, getting everything tatted. I ain't gonna lie, Queen D's tattoo in blue was banging. Like some people just got the outline. She got that color, that joint was lit. Her tattoo was beautiful, actually. Then Lucky says, Oh, we're gonna play a game. The game we're gonna play is get the draw. I got the drugs, dog. If y'all don't know what that is, that's a um a famous line from Martin when Tommy was on the stand and Martin was cross-examining, because I know Martin's a fool, and he was just like GTD. What does it stand for? GTD. And he's just like, Tommy's trying to play like, I don't know, I don't know. And he pulls out, a, you know, some underwear. Got 
got the draws, dog. That's what it means. Got the draws. So that's where they got it from. Which in theory sounds like a cute game. And I like that she's putting some thought in behind like what, what they can actually do with these people in the house. Yeah, I really wish that I could like be like, girl, I think y'all should do this. Like send an email or something to somebody. Like this would be cute. Like we could do it this way. But got the draws was a cute idea in theory. But you can tell it, was all, it wasn't all thought of. So like, do they have to bring it back to me? She's like, yeah, bring them back to me. And she's like, no, it's all right. If you can't bring them back to like, it was just a little all over the place, but the concept was cute. Uh, ain't nobody giving up their underwear. Girl, you know, people will buy your underwear online. They're all kind of like, you know, excited for the game. You know, we're on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm sure what you can get a whole bunch of different people, you know what I mean, to, to, to do whatever on Hollywood Boulevard. And, you know, they got this big gallon of Patron. Like, damn, y'all couldn't even get like a little cup or nothing. It's giving public intoxication at this point, very much so. They all taking swigs, everybody getting that off that same bottle of that gallon of Patron. Lucky picks team captains, fine wine and Ken doll. And then, you know, everybody get chose. The, the African girl, she didn't get chose. And she was just like, yeah, well, she was like, I guess you can just sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get chose because you know they felt like you ain't really gang sis you ain't get the tattoo like you could have got it temporary you feel what i'm saying you could have got something you could have did something she didn't get nothing so she didn't get chose she said she was fine with it and they all linked up then they started going to strangers hey can you do this can you da -da -da -da? i hate when people i hate when girls are super hyper touchy on other women like what makes you think that you know it's it's okay for you to do that I feel like, you know, girls, oh, God, you know, twerking, touching your butt. Like, I just don't touch me. Because, like, men can't go around touching women like that. Like, why do women feel like, oh, well, I'm a girl, I can touch you like that? Like, no, girl. It's giving very much, like, aggressive, very much SA. I'm not into stuff like that. But when girls get drunk, they get, you know, touchy-feely. But me mindful of that because, hmm. Girl, yeah, shout out to me, a consent queen, a consent consultation. Let me know if you need one. This teen gets one. Ken was doing a lot of the talking. He's very charming, very understanding. Then when they realized they couldn't get people's uh, underwear, they started asking for bras, which was a little bit easier. They had a trans woman give up a bra. Um, they had another girl, didn't it? Then it started turning into, oh, well, if you don't want to um, give me the bra, then can you um, kiss each other? Which I thought was so weird. Like, what? Okay, so, well, can y'all just kiss and then we'll flash you? Like, it's a, it just seemed a little childish to me. Juvenile. I don't know. Just, I don't know. In my core, I'm getting corny because I didn't like it. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm going to be real with y'all. Well, if you can't give me your bra, then let me see you two kiss. Like, girl, these are regular people on the way to the fucking... To, <laughs> I ain't got time for that. They ain't sipping a gallon of Patron. Like, I don't know. And they ended up being tied. After this weird, awkward game, they ended up being tied. They go back to the van, girl. The van is broken into. <laughs> and it's not funny because, you know, shit happens. I'm like, yo, they really in L.A. I, I wasn't lying when I said they had to swap me. Girl, the fuck, the um, courier van, the drum was all broken into, and, and then, you know, she, it was just ghetto. It was just ghetto. Lucy's, uh, Lucky's purse came up missing. Um, somebody's Louis bag was stolen. Queen D said her money order was stolen. They didn't take her purse, but her money order was stolen, which nobody believed it. They like, how, how everybody bag is stolen, whole bag is stolen. They ain't take the bag, they just took the money. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, like, she just said it was her rent. She's like, why? She said it was her money order for the for her rent for next month. They're like, why are you traveling out of town with a money order for your rent for next month? They didn't take the whole purse, but they took your money order. That's cat. He only said that they took the rent for next month because um, she trying to have the network reimburse her for the rent next month. Girl, if that's the case, shit, I ain't mad at her. You feel what I'm saying? If she gonna get that next month rent for free, huh? You get what I'm saying? She from the hood. She like, listen, I'm from the hood. It happened every day. It is, but it is. I should we should have known not to have that stuff out invisible. You know what I mean? Certain places you just know they known for stealing cars and, and breaking into cars. Probably never forget the time my car got broken into when I was working at Old Navy when I was in college. I was so like alarmed because at this point I was like working in Atlantic City. It was just weird. Um. Lucky ended up crying because she like, oh my God, like my per my ID, da, 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 my food stamp card. I'm going to need my food stamp card. Girl, I feel you, bitch. 
she said forget everything else i need that ebt it's it's a lot it's giving very much as my real life this is like real world mixed in with like a couple of games because these girls are living real lives how you want porn her going viral and you know you need your you crying over your ebt card that doesn't make sense to me and i know that the porn industry i mean i don't know how porn works i know that i'm popping puss I don't need an EBT card. I don't know. That's just, just not adding up. Anyways, y'all, drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think, okay? Let me know what y'all think about this episode. Let me know what y'all think about the series in general. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.